بسم الله الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده Love your brothers and sisters in Islam Our beloved messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said ليس شيء أكرم على الله عز وجل من الدعاء There is nothing more noble to Allah سبحانه وتعالى than supplication There is nothing more dearer to Allah سبحانه وتعالى than dua there is nothing more honorable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the exalted than dua. Why brothers and sisters in Islam? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brothers and sisters, is al-ghani. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-ghani. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one without need of anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is completely satisfied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kareem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bountiful and most generous. So we shall ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is ghani. In hadith al-Qudsi, Yadullahi mal'a, la taghidhuha nafaqah, saha'u al-layli wa al-nahar, wa qal, araaytu ma anfaqa mundu khalaqa samawati wa al-ard, fa innahu lam yaghidh ma fi yadihi. This is the beautiful hadith, brothers and sisters in Islam. Yadullahi mal'a, Allah's hand is full. And its fullness, it's not affected by continuous spending night and day. He also said, did you not see what he has spent since he created the heavens and the earth? فَإِنَّهُ لَمْ يَغِذْ مَا فِي يَدِهِ Nevertheless, what is in his hand is not decreased. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Ikhwani, if the entire jinn and ins, the entire mankind, human race and jinn will get together in one place and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all their needs, that will not decrease Allah's kingdom, my brothers and sisters in Islam. In Hadith Qudsi, an authentic Hadith Qudsi in Muslim, Ya Ibadi, law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum wa insakum wa jinnakum قاموا في سعيد واحد فسألوني فأعطيت كل إنسان مسألته ما نقص ذلك مما عندي إلا كما ينقص المخيط إذا أدخل البحر. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned this hadith قدسي that Allah سبحانه وتعالى said, Oh my servants, if the first of you and the last of you and the human of humans of you and the jinn of you were all to stand together in one place. And ask for me. And I were to give everyone what he requested, then that will not decrease what I possess, except what's decreased of the ocean when a needle is dipped into it. There's nothing that is too hard for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kareem, he likes to give. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa he mentioned in hadith, he said, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why? Because man lam yas'alillaha yaghdab alayhi. He who does not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gets angry with him. If we do not beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we do not place our need before him subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get angry at us. Let's all ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his ni'mah, from his bounties, from his grace. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in Surah Nisa verse 32, وَاسْأَلُوا اللَّهَ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of his grace. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to that which is best in this life and in the hereafter. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we shall ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all needs at all times. Why? Because there's nothing too big for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor there is anything too small for us as a human being. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us what to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said to us, لِيَسْأَلْ أَحَدُكُمْ رَبَّهُ حَاجَتَهُ كُلَّهَا Let everyone of you ask his Lord for his every need, even until he asks him for the strap of his sandal when it breaks. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, لِيَسْأَلْ أَحَدُكُمْ رَبَّهُ حَاجَتَهُ Let every one of you ask his Lord for his every need until he asks him for salt and asks him for the strap of his sandal when it breaks. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, do you know that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, وَإِنَّ أَعْجَزَ النَّاسِ مَنْ عَجَزَ بِالدُّعَاءِ that the Prophet Sallallahu he says, the most incapable of people is the one who is most incapable of supplication. If you cannot raise up your hands and ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala what you need, then what else are you able to perform? Let's all ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala every need. Let's all return back to Him Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.